What is going on YouTube? Hayden back. Just three years ago, I started my own online business and just last year, I did over half a million dollars in revenue when I was only 23 years old. This means that as long as I have a good internet connection and a laptop, I can make money online and passively. Now this opens up endless revenue streams, allowing me to work from pretty much anywhere in the world, which was one of the main factors as to why I moved from New York, Long Island to Florida. Now in today's video, I wanna fill you in on the single best online business you can start at any age with no money needed. Let me save you the countless hours of research and all the trial and error it took me, and hopefully you can start your own successful online business with these few steps. So in today's era, if you are not trying to make money online or grow your presence on the internet, you'll be missing out on the 870 billion dollars spent online with US merchants and the 189 billion dollars spent online as digital ad revenue. Now imagine for a moment just being able to bottom feed off that number. Think about just being able to get a sliver of what's being spent online could really change your life forever. Now merely a quarter percent of that is still over two billion dollars, just a quarter percent. 0.25. Now for those doubting it's possible, there are literally teenage millionaires who haven't even graduated high school, making money selling mugs on Amazon, playing video games, or even just talking into a camera. Just a few decades ago, this was all impossible. Starting a business back then could require tons of money, numerous employees, a brick and mortar store, and all the compliances needed to operate and open a business. Now fortunately today, smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm requires none of that. Just use your fingertip and tap the thumbs up button down below so I know you want to see more videos like this. People are beginning to realize the importance of starting their own business, making your own hours, and taking back control of their own salary and time. Now, the pandemic really was a catalyst that allowed people to wake up. Data suggests layoffs might have topped 40 million during the pandemic, which is historically high. Many people during this time learned that they can be let go from their job at a moment's notice. Now, this encouraged many people to work for themselves, and a whopping 5.5 4 million new business applications were filed in 2021, surpassing the record that was set in 2020 of 4.4 million. Now it's okay if you weren't one of them because it's really not too late at all. This spike in entrepreneurship really shows that people are just starting to wake up and there's plenty of time left for you to join in. Now fortunately that old process of starting a business is gone and now anyone with a laptop or phone can start an online presence and make money. There's still just under 10 million people in the US that are self-employed out of 160 64 million people that are employed. That means only 6% of Americans are self-employed. Now to me, this means working for yourself or even starting a side hustle is an extremely lucrative and rewarding opportunity because not many people do it. Now since May 20th of this year, the average annual pay for a self-employed person was $83,792 a year. Honestly, that really is not that bad if you ask me, considering the median salary is around $51,000 for employed workers. So Hayden, how can I start a business online? And how can I make money online with little startup if I don't have money to invest into it at first? What is the secret to starting a successful online business? Well, I'm glad you asked. To answer this, we need to look at the first and second most popular websites in the world, Google and YouTube. And if you haven't realized, Google owns YouTube. Now, did you know that YouTube gets more than 14.3 billion visits per month, more than Facebook, more than Twitter, and even more than Instagram? Now, more than twice as many young people watch these videos every day as did four years ago, and the average time spent watching videos mostly on YouTube has roughly doubled to an hour each day. This means there's already an audience of people that flock to YouTube. And this also means that look at what others are doing and start a business around what's already proven to work. People watch YouTube videos and watch videos online all the time. So starting a business in the same field is very easy because someone has already done the work of proving that there's an audience for you. And if you don't believe me, advertisers even paid YouTube roughly $28.8 billion in just 2021 alone. Surprisingly, so many people regularly watch and consume YouTube content, but so little understand how powerful the platform is. And so many people don't realize that YouTube will actually pay you. In 2007, YouTube set up the YouTube partner program known as YPP. And the program actually gives creators access to the YouTube resources and monetization features and also allows revenue sharing from ads being served on your content. Now, today, more creators are making a living on YouTube than ever before, and I am one of those people. To give you an idea, YouTube said in 2021 that it has paid out more than 30 
billion dollars that's with a b to creators in the past three years from ads merchandising and other service features and listen to me when i tell you you could be one of those people taking advantage of the platform and getting paid all it takes to be accepted into the youtube partner program is just having a thousand subscribers and reaching four thousand hours of valid public watch hours in the past 12 months now i know this might sound like a lot but if you just film and upload your hobby or even start youtube as a hobby it really won't take that long for me it only took six months while I was in college as a full-time student, and typically you will hit both of those requirements at the same time. Listen, YouTube wants you to make content for them. They literally incentivize and are dying for more content, especially when they have other platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and even TikTok competing against them. Now, YouTube knows that if they pay you for your content, that not only will you continue to make more content for them, but your content will grow and become better as you can now start to afford to make better videos videos, better quality content, more uh, equipment, and so on and so forth. Now, starting a YouTube account is actually free, and it's extremely easy to set up. All you need is just a phone or a laptop and a Google account. And not only is it free, but YouTube actually pays creators the best rates compared to all the other social media platforms that I just mentioned. To this day, some people still don't realize that YouTube will actually pay you good money to make videos on their platform. Now, I've had people ask me, what do I do for a living? And I say YouTube, and they get so confused. How do you actually make money off YouTube. And I tell them, guys, YouTube will literally deposit a check into your bank account if you make good quality content for them. Another cool perk is that YouTube videos tend to be longer than uh, TikTok and Instagram videos. And that also incentivizes reasons to get paid more because that means they can display more ads on your videos. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's the point of making a channel? Don't you need to be like famous to make good money on YouTube? That if you have a small amount of subscribers, you're really not going to be making any money. But what if I told you that's simply not true? True. What if I told you that it's even possible to make tons of money, if not hundreds of thousands on YouTube, without even showing your face, which I know is a big fear for most people. Let me give you an example. A popular faceless YouTuber named Dream made more than $10 million on YouTube playing Minecraft and not showing his face, just literally making videos of him playing video games. You also might be familiar with Logan Paul, who made $14.5 million at 23 years old from just vlogging his daily life. Now, there's even Ryan's Toyer Review, who's a six-year-old kid who made $22 million unboxing and playing with his toys. Listen, how I've always looked at it was that you don't need to make all that money. You don't need to be famous making $20 million. All you need to do is just make a sliver of that. Just like 1% of $20 million is still $200,000. That means you don't nearly need to be as big as these famous people are, and you can still bring in such a huge amount of income. Just earning 1% of what these massive famous YouTubers are making puts you in the top 5% of American wage earners. And honestly, I think I'd be okay with that, wouldn't you? What I'm trying to say is even with a small channel, you can still make quite a bit of money. A quick Google search of how much YouTube pays creators reveals that the amount of money a YouTuber can make depends on a variety of factors, but you will usually see that the average creator makes about two, three, maybe even $5 per 1,000 views. That means a YouTube video with a $5 CPM that gets 1 million views and that's clicks per milli, can make upwards of $5,000 just from a single YouTube video. Now that's a lot of money, but it's also extremely hard to get a million views. Now what's not known by many people is that YouTube will also pay you more for less views if you know what you're doing. See, what I said before applies to the average creator, but if you know how to play the algorithm, you can make a lot more money. Now it's true, there are a lot of factors that will determine how much money you make. For example, just last year, I made over $500,000 for my YouTube business with only 61,000 subscribers. Think about that, 500 grand at 61,000 subscribers. That literally means anything's possible. You don't need 200, 500, a million, 10 million subs to make an extremely good living on YouTube. Now, the first year that I was monetized, I made $30,000 on YouTube. And this was when I was a full-time college student. So to have $30,000 as a part-time job is pretty incredible. Now, my second year as a senior in college, I made $90,000 as a full-time college student. And then my third year when I graduated doing YouTube 
pretty much full-time. I actually went part-time to full-time and I quit my previous job to do YouTube full-time. I made half a million dollars. I actually made over half a million dollars, which was absolutely incredible. And it's proven to me that this is something that's possible. Now, moving forward to this year, 2022, uh, given that the economy is currently in the dumps, I should still be making probably close to $400,000. See, what people don't realize is there's an algorithm to follow to generate more money on YouTube with little subscribers. It has nothing to do with the actual amount of subscribers that you have. However, it does help to have more, obviously. A finance or education channel on YouTube can earn anywhere from 10 to 14 to even $15 per thousand views, which is way higher than the average amount that a normal YouTube creator will get, which is like two to three dollars per thousand views. Now, what's crazier is a cryptocurrency video can even make up to $40 per thousand views. That means a one million view video on cryptocurrency can pay more than $20,000. Now, for some motivation, check out this video that I made that got 91,000 views with the cryptocurrency topic. As you guys know, an average YouTuber makes about $3 per thousand views, and this video in that case would earn about $273. But because this video is on the crypto subject, it earns $38 per thousand views and made me close to $2,000 in revenue. Just last year, my channel alone made me over $30,000 and paid $15 per thousand views, three to five times the average because it's about financing crypto. This is why everyone should at least try to grow a YouTube channel and there's literally nothing to lose and huge upside potential. Now I know what you're thinking. I only made $30,000 from YouTube and that's only a fraction of the $500,000 that I made in my YouTube business business, so what other streams are actually out there? Believe it or not, even though YouTube can pay a ton of money in AdSense, there's actually other ways that better perform than just YouTube ad revenue that actually make more money. So when you add them all together, YouTube's actually my lowest performing revenue stream. The thing you gotta realize is YouTube is such a powerful platform because it lets you build an audience practically for free. And once you have an audience, it opens so many more revenue streams. You see, ad placements aren't the only way YouTubers make money and earn additional income. A YouTuber salary actually comes from a variety of different sources. Now, the great thing about having a YouTube channel is it really helps you determine how much money you want to invest back into the channel. It's totally up to you. But typically, once you know you've got all your camera equipment and set everything up, moving forward, it's pretty much expense-free and there's not that much overhead. At least that's how I've been able to set up my business. Now, the other $470,000 that I made actually came from affiliate links, merchandise, and even sponsorships. Now, these three options come with zero dollars in overhead or expenses, which means everything that I make is literally profit. This is why growing an online presence is so valuable in today's digital world. And honestly, if you're any type of business, even a brick and mortar store, and you don't have an online presence, you're probably not gonna do as well as your competitors. Now, having an affiliate link is free and sponsorships typically cost the YouTuber nothing but time to do. And merchandise can even be outsourced, which costs you pretty much no money up front. Now, have you ever seen a YouTube YouTuber review a product or tell you about a brand within their niche, they usually then mention that it's linked in the description. This is exactly what affiliate marketing is. Getting the audience to purchase or sign up to a link gives the YouTuber a percentage of the sale or money for the referral. Now, depending on the size of the audience you grow, you can make a ton of money from referring people to a product or service. Now, the affiliate marketing industry is estimated to be worth $8.2 billion in 2022, up from $5.4 billion back in 2017. Now, the best part is any channel, no matter the size, can implement the strategy in their channel even before they are monetized, which means you don't have to meet the requirement. This is why affiliate marketing is a lucrative, low to no cost business venture that you can profit immensely on. Merchandise is another popular revenue stream YouTubers use to earn an income. And this is typically something YouTubers offer when they have created a brand around their channel. Typically, you see this on like Logan Paul and Jake Paul's videos, and even Mr. Beast, who generate most of their money through merchandise. Now, the great thing about this venture is there can be a a huge markup for selling apparel. And there are plenty of websites that will make and ship out your apparel completely free for just a small percentage of the overall sale. This means not only do you not need to spend any money, but you don't even have to lift a finger to make the products. Lastly, once you have built an audience of around 20,000-ish uh, or more subscribers, brands will actually start to notice you and reach out. And that is what is called a sponsorship. Now, I always recommend leaving a business email in your description so brands have a way to get in contact with you. And these paid gigs are are also the highest level of YouTube sponsorships. Now, in a paid sponsorship, you promote a product or service on your channel in exchange for payment. Now, these do take more time to create and integrate into
into your video, but they will pay you a lot more than the YouTube Partner Program because they can get directly into your video and not actually be overlaid as an advertisement. This means it's directly said from you and is more personal, unlike an overlay which is placed over a video that most, you know, audience members probably just click skip. Now, most established YouTubers actually make their money this way. So next time you hear them say this video is sponsored, you know they're actually getting paid to talk about that product or service. Now, the good news is YouTube is growing in popularity every day and more and more brands are willing to pay smaller creators good money to promote their products or service. What I'm trying to tell you is that YouTube is available for everyone and you can literally make videos on anything, whether you want to film your dog or upload white noise content, even cook or teach chess, play video games, or even upload your music, YouTube has a niche for you and is willing to pay. And whether you want your identity hidden or you don't want your face shown, YouTube is still willing to pay you for your content. So all you have to do is just try. So find a time to start, even as a hobby, because it pays off tremendously. And don't worry if somebody is already doing what you wanted to do. Everybody's personality is different. So no matter what you do, you will stand out from others. And that's the beauty of YouTube. I've seen tons of creators online that don't post their face, that literally just voice over videos or scripts that they make, and they make tons of money in the process. So guys, that about wraps up today's episode. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Otherwise, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.